So I pulled up and there's a fire truck sitting here with a car. Unknown what's going on. But people keep pulling up behind the fire truck and then just sitting there in the turn lane. They don't see the flashing lights. And then this girl just walked up on her phone. I don't know if she knows the driver or not. There's nobody even in the car. So I don't know what's going on. And there goes Citizens Patrol. They'll probably do a U-turn and come back to block the road. And here comes Citizens Patrol now. Uh, they will probably block the road so the fire department can take off. But the fire department are looking in the car. Seems to be nobody in the car. I walked up there without my camera and looked. So here's the car and there's nobody in the car. But they keep looking in the back of the car. Uh, the fire department does. So I don't know if there's somebody laying in the back seat. Or why they keep looking. Well, no, because they would have opened the car door, I would imagine. Then you have the fire department here holding off this lane, the citizens patrol, who have walked up here to the boulevard. Here, you Kaipa Boulevard, cross of 6th Street, which actually is also called Jeremiah McKay Way. I'll have to tell you about that sometime. So the fire department's gonna take off. I guess it's just, uh, they're just gonna have a tow come out and tow the car. I'm not sure what's going on. So there is damage to this vehicle. I'm not sure if he rear-ended somebody or hit somebody or what happened. Um, but Citizens Patrol is out sitting with the vehicle and it doesn't, Really looked like any type of huge investigation. There are no officers on scene other than Citizens Patrol. So I'm going to cut out. The real Jimmy Hens just letting you know what's going on in your community. Now, Jeremiah McKay Way, they call it that, is named after a deputy that was fatally injured when the former LAPD officer, Christopher Dorner, uh, came up here to Big Bear and then on the way down, he was captured, or in tr he was trapped in a house that they had a shootout. Jeremiah McKay was one of the first, if not the first victim of that group of deputies. So we went ahead and named the street in his honor, which is great. There you go. Well, now we have another guy, he pulls up in a truck here. And I don't know, the plot thickens, as they say. Now this guy got out and walked up there. He's talking to the Citizens Patrol. Now we have a confrontation. I don't know what's going on, but this Citizens Patrol does not want him up there talking to her. He was, he kept telling him to go back to his truck, it looked like, with arm signals, but then Citizens Patrol got in the car and the guy went around him and went up to the girl. Now they're, it looks like they may be arguing. Well, maybe he's telling him what happened. Okay, Citizens Patrol just called that in. Citizens, Citizens Patrol just called that in. He's trying to get the car off the street or something. Something's going on because a cop just pulled out of the station. Now he's coming back. He's flying up the road. He had his lights going. He's, something's going down. About to go down. Here's it comes the cop. He's right here. Something's going down. So that guy took off when the cop got here. 
I missed it because I'm putting my phone in my pocket. But the red truck took off when this cop got here. So something's going down. Um, like I said, they were arguing, and then this, there was a call, one of the citizens patrol called in, that a guy was out here arguing with them, and then this police officer came out of the station, down, did a U-turn, and came back. So the girl left, I didn't show her running down the street, but she wasn't running away from the cops, she just ran across the street. Um, but he went over and looked at the, the police officer went over and looked at the car here at uh, Ekaipa and 6th and waiting on a tow truck. I do not know what's up with this car. I have a feeling the driver ran off. Um, it's just a hunch. That that's the guy they were talking about running eastbound with a hoodie. Because the female is not the driver of this car and the other guy that came in the Suburban is not the driver of this car. We do have a white truck back here behind the sheriff's car. I won't... Okay, now the sheriff's or the police is telling him to drive on. He was sitting there with his four ways going. I don't think he wants to drive on. I think he wants to talk to the police officer. So it looks like everything's copacetic here, so I'm going to cut out now. I was going to cut out a minute ago, and the guy came up and started hassling the citizens patrol, which really probably isn't a smart thing to do. Real Jimmy Hens, keeping you guys up to date.